At ProFootballWeekly.com, we give you the fantasy football matchups to exploit and avoid every week. First up, the guys you should be playing, and C.J. Spiller, the replacement for Fred Jackson, going up against the Chargers. Yeah, it took C.J. Spiller a little bit of time to come out. Obviously, a very high pick. I think fans were disappointed, getting a little bit concerned. Uh, showed what he was capable last week against the Titans. 102 yards from scrimmage and a touchdown. Had another long touchdown that was brought back because of defensive holding. Has a Chargers matchup this week. Uh, the Chargers defense allowing 191 yards, .8 touchdowns to the running back's position. Spiller's a solid play. MJD kind of showed up that defense last week as well. Jabbar Gaffney, the wide receiver for the Redskins, going up against the Patriots this week. We've been saying it all season long. If you're going up against that Patriots secondary, you might as well get the wide receivers in the lineup. Fred Davis obviously out with the suspension. That makes Jabbar Gaffney's value climb even more. He was shut out last week, but that was on Revis Island. Uh, not the first or last wide receiver that'll happen to. This week against the New England Patriots defense, a solid play. And at tight end, Ed Dixon, one of those two tight ends for the Ravens that catches a lot of passes, going up against the Colts. Going up against the Colts, a lot like the Patriots, you're trying to find these uh, and exploit these matchups. The Colts decided they weren't going to cover Rob Gronkowski on a couple touchdowns last week. Bizarre you choice you might there. Wanna, yeah. You think you might want to cover him. Ed Dixon is going to be a solid play. The Colts are banged up without a couple linebackers. Secondary's reeling. Uh, could be you know, a, a solid play this week. If you have Ben Roethlisberger, we're saying this week you want to avoid playing him up against Cleveland. You know, he's actually coming off a nice game, his first multi-TD game in a while. But he's only got five touchdowns in the last four games. The Browns are only doing one thing well. That's stopping the pass. You saw what the Ravens did on the ground last week. We'd expect the Steelers to try and get the ground game going as well. Roethlisberger is kind of a shaky play this week. Yeah, you expect Mendenhall to do well, but not as much from Ben Roethlisberger. Peyton Hillis sitting him against the Steelers. He's kind of been quiet in recent weeks anyways. Sticking with this same matchup, Peyton Hillis is still nursing and that hip injury, he's going to start, but he's not 100%. Colt McCoy obviously doesn't scare anyone, so you know what the Steelers are going to look to do. They've been very good over the past month, starting to sort of resemble their former selves in terms of run defense. Stay away from Peyton Hillis this week. Jake Ballard, the tight end for the Giants, has been kind of a surprise this year, but we're saying stay away this week against the Cowboys. Yeah, we are. The Cowboys have been very good against opposing tight ends this season. Ballard has been solid, but Victor Cruz, Akeem Nix are clearly the guys in that offense right now, and Ballard is probably not your best option. These are just a couple of the picks you can see the full article at ProFootballWeekly.com.